with all the people coming into cities that our current infrastructure really can't cope with that influx. So as more and more people come into cities, we've got to increase our, the capacity of our infrastructure to be able to deal with all of those new inhabitants in the city. As difficult as it is building new projects, it's easier to build than to make the current ones just work better. So new projects are kind of sexy and the mayor can go and cut the ribbons, but making current projects work better and more efficient is something we've got to get more skilled at because that's if we're going to get more use out of our infrastructure and not have to pay the huge budget for, for new infrastructure, we've got to learn to do that. And that's often small changes um, that can make big differences. I think one of the big things that I'd like to see is an improvement in skills of local municipalities to be able to manage and operate infrastructure in a sustainable basis. So it's not just built and then after 10 years it's kind of all um, run into the ground, but infrastructure so it's properly maintained, so that we build for it properly, um, so we can maintain it financially, and so that people use it in a way that, that means that it lasts. I'm optimistic about African cities. I think um, we've got a great opportunity to perhaps leapfrog, perhaps do something something a little bit different because we don't have, we've got some infrastructure that's in the ground, most of it is old, but the opportunity is to do something more, d densify and maybe have a different form of, of city take shape. Um, we've, got, we've got to do a couple of things. One of the first ones is to be better at planning for where we put the infrastructure and what is that infrastructure that will get us the, the, the better return, a bang for buck approach. Um, we also need to be better at implementing. There's uh, arguably many plans out there about what we can do, but um, we don't have the skills yet and uh, we're not growing our, our competence in being able to implement projects a little bit better. And in developing our skills, I think What's, what's important is that we need to learn from ourselves um, and be a little bit honest and uh, frank about what we can and can't do because in that there's an opportunity to bring partners on board to help um, both from the private sector and the communities that uh, live in the cities to help us build the cities and cities that work.